I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with this rant. I'm so, I'm in a good mood right now. I am so in the good mood today, ladies and gentlemen. X-Men 1991 back again with another video. <sighs> well, well, well. I didn't want to wait till tonight to do this rant. I'm like, I got to do this rant right now. As soon as this Astros game is over, I got to come on here and do this shit. Because I am in a good mood right now. Ladies and gentlemen, 90s R.I.P. fans, Benny G, Mike Henry, Yusuke Knight, all my other subscribers, I got some breaking news. And this is a long time coming. This man's time has come. It's about time to get his ass the fuck out of here. Real talk. I got a text message from my brother, Mike Henry, and y'all know y'all read the title of my ranch. So I'm going to go ahead and say it. Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly has been sentenced to 30 years in prison. All this crap that y'all talking about saying free R. Kelly. I told y'all in my live stream on Twitch this past Friday, y'all need to cut that shit out. I told y'all that this nigga was not getting out of jail anytime soon. Y'all keep saying free him. You think that nigga deserves a second chance after all that he's done for the past two, three decades? Mess around with them little girls? And this nigga paved the way for guys like the creator of Ren and Stimpy to do that. And like I said, I'm not saying the name of the creator of Ren and Stimpy ever again. Because that dude is also a piece of shit for messing around with underage girls back in the 90s. He's the Canadian version of R. Kelly. I'm surprised this SOB is not even in jail yet. How did he get a pass for messing with those two girls, Katie Rice and Robin Bird? And you know he won't be involved in that Ren and Stimpy revival coming soon to Comedy Central because of the allegations against him. But this is not about the creator of Ren and Stimpy. But we shouldn't compare him to Robert Kelly. They're not on the same level, but both these motherfuckers are sick and perverted. And I can't believe I was a fan of their work. I'm a fan of Ren and Stimpy, but I'm not a fan of his creator. And I'm not even going to lie to y'all. If you've been following me for a long time, I was a fan of R. Kelly from age 7 in the second grade to age 27. But ever since that documentary series Surviving R. Kelly came out, I'm like, I can't support this nigga no more. I can't be a fan of him no more after all this shit that he's done to these little girls and these grown women. And he was also fucking around with underage boys. Y'all know that this man is a pedophile. Some of y'all still listen to his music. Ever since he got convicted, I retired listening to his music full time. The only two songs that I would listen to by him is Home Alone and When a Woman's Fed Up. But I don't listen to the other songs that he made anymore. I'm fine listening to a song that he's featured on or a song that he wrote and produced for other artists. But as far as his own songs go, I can't do it. The first time he beat his trial back in 2008, he should have went out and got some help. But he refused to do it because he wasn't taking responsibility for his own fucking actions. And you know what? That text that Mike Henry sent me, I'm going to send this to my sister, my dad, my granny, my auntie, my mama, my uncle, my sister-in-law, and my other brothers of the Heaven's Monsters podcast. Mike Henry was the first one that texted me this shit. But I'm going to send it to my other bros of the Heaven's Monsters podcast. Serge Dragon, Andre Mitchell, T-Money, Chris Petrie, Renee, and Pharaoh. I want to know what their reaction is going to be when I text them this shit. And why they take so long to put this nigga in jail? He should have been in jail a long time ago. Y'all forgot that this nigga pissed on that 14-year-old girl. Y'all forgot that he married Aaliyah back in the 90s when she was 15. And y'all want to defend this nigga like he ain't did nothing wrong? Get the fuck out of here, man. 
I can't stand on people defending people. That's a that's like some of y'all defending a GNP get no pussy four four five. Y'all act like that nigga didn't try to go meet up with a thirteen year old girl. Y'all want to defend him like he's innocent. So I ain't gonna shed no tears or pop any champagne for this nigga because this is a long time coming. I should have stopped being a fan of him. I should have stopped listening to his music a long time ago. His music is banned from being played at this crib and on my live streams on Twitch. This nigga is done. But he has to go back home to Chicago in August for his second trial on child pornography. And this is not the first time that he'll be going to court for that. Because remember, he went to trial for that back in 2008. And no surprise, he got a pass for that shit. So let's see if he gets a pass for that this time, but I doubt it. Damn, bro, 30 years in prison. That's worse than Will Smith getting banned from the Oscars for 10 years. Wow. Or should I say, it's better than Will Smith getting banned from the Oscars for 10 years. And if any one of you comes on this video and defend Robert Kelly, I'm going to block your ass permanently and I'm going to delete your comment afterwards. What makes you think this nigga deserves a second chance after all he did? He had an opportunity to go see a counselor or a therapist to get his life back on track, but he refused to do it because he wasn't taking responsibility for his actions. So, in closing, fuck Robert Kelly, okay? And I don't care if anybody that's still listening to his music or that's still a fan comes on this video getting mad. I don't care. He should have learned his lesson for the first time he did this shit. So that does it for my rant about Robert Kelly being sentenced to 30 years in prison. If you're new here, hit subscribe if you like the content and hit that notification bell for my next rants. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave your two cents on Robert Kelly finally getting exactly what the fuck he should have gotten a long time ago. Hold on one second to see if I'm able to do a ruthless aggression error rant tomorrow. Let me see. Oh, I found one. I will catch you tomorrow, reminiscing 19 years of Lance Storm versus Goldberg from the June 30th, 2003 edition of Monday Night Raw. Don't follow your dreams, chase them. Peace. And before I go, I believe I can lie. I believe I won't testify. I think about it every night and day. Go to these interviews and lie away. I believe I'm a pedo. I see me running to that jail cell door. I believe he's gonna die. I believe he's gonna die. I believe he's gonna die in prison. <laughs>